Where are you guys going? Why are you running? <laughs> you have to yell. Why are you running? I told you I'll be back. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are they going? They're running from me. The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Hey everybody, so it's a demo here. Uh, today's Saturday, the day I got out of jail for my contempt charge early. And instead of uh, protesting the jail or cop locking the police, I get to join. And so uh, we're here with about a dozen folks in Zanesville. Uh, we just ran the cops out of this empty parking lot, so it was a good start. And uh, we got folks from all over Ohio and Zanesville itself. And so we're just going to, you know, film traffic stops or the police, whatever we can, and uh, make sure they're held accountable and make the presence felt here in Zanesville. So, peace. Cop locking. These are all cop lockers. What's that? Well, we're, we're with Coplock. We uh, coplock.org. We film the police. Why'd they stop you? This license plate right here. Oh. Uh, what? What? Was the hanger on? <laughs> Bag number 19. How are you tonight? I told you there was more cop blockers coming. You thought I was bullshitting with you. Say what? Yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of friends. Looks like you brought your friends too. Looks like you, that's right. Well, I mean, you you for the you you're the one who instigated this. You arrested people for filming you. No, no, no. What? No? Oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't yeah, take yeah. that guy to jail the other day? You didn't take him to jail? Why'd you take him to jail? Why did I take him to jail? Well, because we were on a felony investigation. And the rest of you can back up. The rest of you can back up. Tell your buddies to back up. I'll I can't tell you. anybody what to do, but I mean, like you for safety, back up. Yeah, you might you're, you're definitely safe. I mean, it's, well, I know I am. I'm not worried. But then why would you say officer safety if you know you're safe? Well, so felony investigation? We doing a felony investigation. Individuals intruded. The lady told us I'm not comfortable with them filming. We asked them to leave. They refused to do so. We asked them to leave again. My interview with her today, she said she was all right with the filming. But that is what she took, told the officers. I wasn't there initially. And when I arrived, that's what was said. Sure. And he was already in custody. And and I said, it's not fair for him to do the same thing that he was doing and to take him to jail and not him too. It, it wasn't fair. I believe in your rights. And you have the right to film. We're public officials. We don't have the right to privacy. Come away. The only thing we ask is when we're involved with somebody that you respect their rights to privacy. Okay. Yeah. Allow us to do it. If, if that's if that's respected. Sure, I, it's a gray area. I'm like, what is you know, interfering or not? Know, but we'll figure that out. The instigating, you know, what I mean, trying to get people to react. I'm a professional. They don't bother me. It's what they say. <laughs> ship badge. Ship badge. Filming ship badge. No victim, no crime. It's called couple. No, Remember. What's the badge name? Number. What's the name? What's the badge number? What's the floor? Jordan Harris. Go get a real job. <laughs> you know what a real job is? It ain't this. Quit stealing from us. Get a real fucking job, pig. You got a badge number or anything there? <laughs> you ain't gonna talk to me, huh? Hope you got your seatbelt on. You got your seatbelt on? What? You do what? You got your seatbelt open with the badge number. Quit still for my citizens, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumb that cocksucker. Woo! Don't swell. Press me! Code freedom of speech! Where's your seatbelt? Put the seatbelt on, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree that Herb's a little raw in his approach, and he's an aggressive, but he does have a freedom of speech, and he has a long history with uh, people who dress like you who, you know, made a lot of hardships well, on his life, and so it's people, understandable. Some people bring things on themselves. Well, you know, and some people have it brought on them. I mean, there's a, there's a system out there. I mean, there's a lot of laws. You can't agree that all laws are good, right? Oh, no. I, I can tell you right now that there are way too many laws. Right. Okay? and that people are way too dependent on the police to do everything for them. The 
thing I hate worse, okay, is the term law enforcement. Okay? We're supposed to be peace officers. Maintaining the peace. You used to be peace officers at some point. I still am. All right. Okay. There's uh, a lot of victimless crimes. There's a lot of things that police officers do these days that, you know, probably not by their personal choice, but by the rules dictated by them here's, here's that make the you guys here's in a tough the whole, position. The whole issue is, is what people fail to understand is you, the voters, okay, vote in laws. Okay? Well, not exactly. Hold on. Well, I mean, that's the way it's set up. Well, I know. That's, like, th the whole system's really messed up. Well, but I can't fix that system. Who is, who's trying Neither can I. The system has to fail. I mean... You guys have to fix the system. Okay? So... Voting doesn't work, man. Well, but what what do you want? Tyranny? Well, there, there's... Tyranny? Tyranny? <laughs> there's tyranny now. I go... I have served to figure out who's got the all over the world. <laughs> and no, we don't have a perfect system. But we got one of the best there is. I would disagree, man. This isn't the freest country in the world. When you have the highest prison population in the planet. Well, I mean, we have a lot of crime. And when you have a lot of freedom... Hold on, but that crime is dictated by law. And we, just, of, we both just established that there's too many laws and that the laws are bad. Freedom, you have a lot of Information? Crime. Okay. What's when that? you have a lot of freedom, you have a lot of crime. I don't, I don't believe so. That, that's <laughs> been, that's <laughs> counterproductive. How can you have a lot of freedom and have a lot of crime? It's just because it is because free will. I mean, like, there's victimless crimes. I mean, we just filmed the guy who was pulled over having his license plate in his window. Like, there's no reason for that. Explain something. You, you don't understand a lot of the processes. You may see us pull somebody over because they don't have the front plate on their car. Okay, we didn't create that law. Yeah, but you have discretion. But here's the, we do have officer discretion. But here's the thing. Where did that vehicle come from? Okay. Well, what if we just seen that vehicle leave from drug houses and high drug area, high crime area? Okay, now we have a reason to stop the vehicle. Okay, to see who's in it. Well, yeah, it's a fishing expedition. That's wrong, man. It's not wrong because... It is to me. Well, to you. Yeah. Okay, but you have a right to believe that. Yeah. Okay, and I have a right to disagree. Right. Okay. But I'm just saying is like, it still doesn't make it right. You know what I'm saying? And I guess you're going to say it doesn't make it wrong or that you have this authority, but like, I believe it's a fishing expedition. I have the authority that you, the people, gave me. I didn't give you any authority. I can't give you any authority. I don't, like, if that's the case, then I'm telling you now that like, I don't want you to pull anybody over. I, I'm not it giving you that authority. That All right. Because I, I represent a city and I, I represent know. a lot more people than you. But I understand, and that sucks. That, that's the problem. It's like, I wish you guys would... Well, you don't have to work for the police. You don't have to work for the government, man. Why don't you go work for a business and do the same things you do for the because city? I to serve the people. Right, but that's that's the problem. It's like, this, this system isn't working. You know? The thing about it is, you don't like me because I'm a cop. I never that's said I didn't okay. like you. Okay. I, I don't... It, it doesn't bother me if you like me or if you don't. If you like what I do or if you don't, right. that's fine. Okay? Um, that's fine. It's it's all okay. And that's the greatest thing about America, okay, is that we all get to choose what we like and don't like. Sure. And you have the right not to like it. And I support that. I support you guys being out here protesting. It's the greatest freedom. And you're exercising your rights. We're all for it. Okay? All right. I appreciate it, too. Well, thanks for taking the time and talking to me. We'll, we'll see you guys out and about. All right, man. Take care. Disregard. He's letting him go. He's, He's letting, letting him go. go. Nice. He's letting him nice. go. Nice. He's letting him go. He pulled him. Okay. Yeah, go. Now he's blocking the traffic. Yep. Tell her. He let you go because we're following him. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We're cop we heard it on the scanner. Coplock.org. You got one of them cards? He pulled you over. He said oh. on the scanner, he's pulling you over. They said, disregard. Hold up, hold up. I'll give you a card. All good in Zanesville. Cop locking the police. Start man in jail. Would you like to start man in jail? It's like, motherfucker. Appreciate your guys' use of discretion tonight. I bet you it was like something domestic like you normally take someone to the hoose cow for that shit. They wouldn't be locking people up for free speech. They wouldn't have these problems, would they? No. Motherfucker! I say again, motherfucker!